Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 apartment speed build. So this apartment is actually a really fun one because this is supposed to be a plant lovers apartment. And I built this because I really wanted to play around with all of the new blooming rooms kit items that we got. Which is basically like the plant kit. I'm just going to call it the plant kit because I completely forget its name half the time. So yeah, this is because I wanted to play around with the new plant kit that we got on Tuesday, I think. And yeah, apologies about the fact that this video isn't up sooner. This is going up on, I think, Thursday. But yeah, real life has been very, like, not busy, but very all over the place. And it's been really messing with my ability to make videos and make content the way I want to. So yeah, apologies about the fact that this is going up a little bit later. I know most people have posted their like kit videos or kit related videos on either Tuesday night when the like kit came out or on like Wednesday or whatever. But yeah, you're getting this on Thursday. So as usual, I'm a little bit late to the party. But yeah, I really love the way this apartment has turned out. It is up on the gallery if you want to download it. But because I did end up using a platform to create the lofted bedroom, I'll explain how I did that in just a second. But because I did that, I actually had to upload the apartment as two separate rooms because there's no way for you to upload a platform as part of a as part of a room, if that makes sense. Platforms kind of occupy their own room space so the game sees anything that's on a platform as being a separate room and obviously on a lot that isn't a problem because you're uploading the whole lot with obviously a bunch of different rooms but with apartments because of the way we have to upload them it's kind of tricky to work with platforms which really sucks if i'm being completely honest because i mean apartments in the game the fact that we can't change anything about the shape of them or the windows or doors or anything like that. I mean, there is a way to do it when you're using the tool mod. But I don't know exactly how that like translates over if someone downloads it. And honestly, it's just most people, if they're not builders and if they don't spend a lot of time in build mode, they probably will never mess around that much with the tool mod because it is a mod mostly aimed towards builders because it just changes the way build mode works. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Basically, because we have to upload apartments as rooms to the gallery, there's no like separate way of uploading apartments, which is something that I really wish we had. Because now that we have platforms, it kind of gives us a way to make apartments more interesting and to customize them a little bit and, you know, change up the way we do layouts and all of that stuff. But it just makes the uploading process so much more complicated than it already is and so much more like inconvenient than it already is so yeah i basically had to upload this apartment as two separate rooms so you have the main living space as well as the bathroom i just deleted one of the walls into the bathroom that you will have to put back but yeah so we have the main living space in the bathroom as the first upload and then we have the lofted bedroom bit separate as the second upload now, the gallery pictures for apartments never do the build justice at, like, at all because the gallery angles just suck for taking pictures. And then also because this does have a platform in it, it kind of messed with the lighting. So the lighting looks like it's outside. And yeah, it's just, it's annoying, but it is up on the gallery if you want to download it. All of the information as well as a download link will be in the description. And then I'll also upload the tray files for my channel members to the like community section of YouTube. So yeah, channel members will get access to the tray files and then, like I said, gallery link, all of that stuff in the description. But talking about the kit for a little second. So yeah, I decided to do an apartment with it because I kind of knew that all of the items that we're going to be getting or that we got, I guess I should say, are all decorative plants none of them are like landscaping so like exterior plants and yeah i just wanted to do something small and I've, I've really been liking doing apartments recently so you might see a couple more of them on the channel within the next couple of weeks whilst i work on some bigger builds that are just taking me a little bit longer to get done like some save file stuff 
But yeah, so I wanted to do, a, do, do an apartment and I decided to build in the 910 Medina Studios apartment. So this is where Salim Benali lives if you're starting a new save with City Living. And literally, I think it's the smallest apartment in the game. And actually, it turned out to be quite like big. If I'm being completely honest, I mean, there's more than enough space. There's basically one bedroom, one bathroom, obviously, because it's a loft. So, yeah, we just have the little, like, platform loft that will be the bedroom with, obviously, the bed, dresser, all of that stuff. Then downstairs, we have a nice, like, open pan kitchen living space. And then we have just a little bathroom right as you come into the apartment. And that's basically it. The whole layout is super simple. I've never done this layout before, though. And that's because I've never played around with, like, really played around with platforms in apartments. But I figured, you know, this would be the perfect time to do that and to try and make a, like, split-level platform type of thing. Because this apartment has really, really high ceilings. And that's something that I usually hate about apartments is the high ceilings because you can't change it. But, you know, if you're wanting to play around with platforms, then doing it in an apartment or in a house that has really high ceilings is usually the best bet because it gives you plenty of space to work with and, you know, you can be sure that your sims will still be able to access, you know, be on top of the platform and use everything on top of it and all of that stuff. So yeah, everything in this apartment should work. I didn't play test all of it, but everything should work as far as I know. And then going back to the kit items, I use, I think, every single item that we got. I, did, I do think I ended up using every item. There might be like one or two decorative plants that I just couldn't fit in anywhere. I'm not going to try and pronounce any of the plant names because I'm going to mispronounce all of them. But yeah, I really, really like the plants in this, which, you know, big shocker. I mean, I'm someone that's talked about wanting some more decorative plants and just decoration and clutter in the game forever. So, you know, big shocker. The fact that I actually ended up liking the plant kit, you know, who would have guessed? I mean, it's not like I obsessively use plants in every single build that I ever do. You know, like very heavy sarcasm there. But yeah, so I really like the plants. I think my favorite plant in the pack is probably the hanging plant. I just, I love the swatches of it. I love the fact that we have another hanging plant. I want so many more of them in the game. Like really, I want so many more of them. And then also probably I really, really like those like... I guess vines that are kind of like wrapped around the little like log pole that you will see me using in the like not really in the living room but on that little divider that I ended up putting in like between the living room and the kitchen. I also ended up using those vines in the bedroom as well to make like a really cool canopy bed type thing and they're actually underneath the like not window category, they're underneath the curtain category. So if you're looking for them and you have the kit and you can't find them, they're actually under curtains. So they do function as curtains. So I assume that means your sims will just be able to like walk through them and they won't like be in the way of like routing or anything like that. So that's really great. I just, I love the way they look and I love the fact that with them and with like the hanging plants and I think every other plant as well, if you change the swatches, the look of the plant actually changes. So the shape of it doesn't change. So like the leaf shape, that doesn't change. But the colors and all of that stuff changes. So it looks like, you know, one plant. But changing up the pattern, not patterns, but like the swatches and stuff like that. Changing up the colors of the leaves and all of that. It kind of makes it look like it's, you know, a different plant. So you could have the same plant next to each other. Just change up the swatches a little bit and you won't be able to tell that it's the same plant if you're just looking at it really quickly. So that's really great. It kind of gives it more versatility and you don't feel like you're like reusing the same plant in every room and you can clearly see that you're like reusing the same thing. It actually makes it look quite different. And I mean in here in the living room for example, I think I've used like three of the new decorative tabletop plants like in two or three different places and you can't really tell that they're the same plants because I ended up using different swatches. So in this build I did reuse a ton of the new items that we got obviously because I wanted to include as many plants as I possibly could but I did try and use almost every single one of the swatches that we got just to test them out you know see what worked what didn't what I liked what I didn't like you know all of that stuff and yeah I actually really like a lot of the swatches I mean 
you know, because it's me and I am a boulder and I probably will be overusing these items a lot. I do wish we did, we would have gotten a couple more swatches, a couple more like neutral swatches, especially, I mean, there are a couple of like really bright swatches, really bl bright pot colors, plant colors, all of that stuff. But I kind of wish we had gotten a couple more just more neutral colors if that makes sense so like a plain black you know flower pot or a plain white there are like black and white swatches for most of the items but they're usually you know accompanied by an accent color like yellow or pink or you know something like that and i just wish we got some like the really really simple and plain swatches but other than that i really do like most of the items i mean a lot of the tables so this hallway table that I'm using, as well as the table, the end tables that I ended up using as coffee tables in the living room. I actually just sized down two of them and then put them with a regular sized one to create this cute little like tiered coffee table type thing. So those, that table and the hallway table, I probably won't end up using too much simply because they're very stylized. So they have obviously, you know, the glass, they're very modern. But then they have the plants growing out of them and they're just not super versatile for the kinds of builds that I usually do. So they will be really useful for more community lot builds, more modern houses. But for the regular suburban, you know, normal family home type builds that I usually end up doing, I probably won't use them too much. They're a little bit too stylized. But the other like three height table that we got, I actually don't know in what category that is because I don't think it's an end tables, but it's somewhere in like the surfaces category. That actually I will be using quite a lot because quite a few things snap to those like three different height tables, small tables that it has. It works really well as a nightstand, as an end table, you know, all of that stuff. So yeah, I really like that table. And yeah, then we just got a bunch of like decorative things. We didn't get any new rugs or anything like that, which makes sense because it's a plant kit. It's not like a general decorating kit. Although now that they've done a plant kit and something that's just flo focused on plants, I would totally buy a clutter kit. I'm just saying I would give, you know, my left toe to have like a proper clutter kit with a bunch of separated clutter items and you know separated things that we can mix and match and that would just be amazing but speaking of buying this kit I actually didn't buy it I did get a free code for the kit from the EA Creator Network so I do just want to give a huge thank you to them for that they didn't like you know I didn't give me early access to the kit or anything like that like I usually would get with packs and stuff but that's just how they're doing kits. I think it's because you know the announce and the release are so close together so there's no like early access period for kits the same way there would be for like packs or stuff packs, expansion packs, all of that stuff. But yeah I did get a free code from the creator network so I do just want to say thank you to them for that. But yeah, so we're almost to the end of this build. I can't believe it's gone over like so quickly. We just have the bathroom left to do and then we're going to be done with it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you did, give the video a like. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims content, then feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. Like I said, the download information for this will all be in the description. And if you want to get your hands on the tray files, then consider becoming a channel member. It's There's a bunch of different tiers and different rewards and stuff that you get for becoming a channel member. So check out the join button that I'll have linked down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I hope you're all having a great week. Let me know your thoughts on this kit in the comments down below. And I will talk to you all in my very next video. Bye everyone. I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs We make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in me We'll work it out, you'll see If we get in a car and drive someplace far Yeah, we can